Well, to analyze what China is up to and whether we should take it seriously, in fact, more seriously than Pakistan, we have two people who know China better than anybody else. We have G. Parthasarthi, a former diplomat, now a security expert. In fact, you went to China with Rajiv Gandhi and you're a China watcher. And we have Jaydev Ranade. I know we shouldn't say this on air, formerly with RAW, based in China, so you know the inside story of China. Tell me how serious, is this something that India should be concerned about, being encircled by China? Pranoy, let me tell you recent developments. Just after Mumbai, you had a Chinese scholar from the uh, 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 Council for uh, you know, International Relations linked to the Central Committee saying that if India took action against Pakistan, China would annex southern Tibet, meaning Arunachal Pradesh. This is yes, a, on down. the record. This is on the record. They ridiculed us after Mumbai. Uh, they, have, they have improved communications both in Tibet and in the, along the Arunachal Pradesh sector, both through Nepal and downwards. So their communications are perfect. Our roads are in a very bad shape. Uh, we are understaffed, under strength, and I'm glad two more divisions are being raised. Maritime, look at it this way, they have surrounded us with uh, getting base facilities in Gwadar in Pakistan. The Chinese Navy for the first time after the 15th century has moved into the Indian Ocean. They are developing aircraft carriers and submarine, a nuclear submarine fleet uh, and take their relations with Pakistan. Pakistan's nuclear weapons program where they are modernizing warheads with plutonium is based on reactors supplied by the Chinese to Kushab. And even recently the Americans, I think just yesterday or today, have asked China's help with Pakistan to influence Pakistan. Uh, how, the Americans. The Americans, but that's the point. They have been emboldened by their new relationship with the Obama administration, which has been very solicitous of them. Look at the conventional supplies. 200 modern fighters of JF-17, then of J-10 fighters and other three squadrons, so both nuke, their missiles, Pakistani missiles, Shine 1, Shine 2, are Chinese DF-9, DF-18. So on the sea, ranging from Gwadar, a new naval presence, they've got facility, they're building so facilities in Hamban Tota, they've got uh, seeking facilities in Myanmar. What so they call is a, a string, of, string of pearls around us in the Indian Ocean. And the Chinese admiral tells the Pacific Fleet Admiral of the United States, he has the gall to tell him, you know, leave the Western Pacific and the Indian Ocean to us and stick on just in the, east, in the Eastern Pacific. Meaning, the Indian Ocean right. is something we are looking at. And so, yes, then, so, so, and politically, and then, one, one last thing, yes. politically, in Nepal they're playing games with the Maoist uh, cadres. They're into Burma. They're into Burma. They're so, into Sri Lanka. With, in Hamban Tota. Nepal, with, now we're talking about Pakistan, yeah, of yeah, course, yeah. is a historic thing. So, we're literally encircled. You, you've lived in China, you've worked, you've watched very closely analyzed. What is the explanation? Why are they doing this? Have they, they do have one eye on India. Are they worried about India's strength in this region? What, what is the background, the real reason behind this encircling of India? Well, I think it's a two-tiered kind of uh, explanation one could offer. One is their uh, global aspirations. They've uh, felt for a long time that uh, they need to regain the space that they had at some point and share power with uh, the dominant uh, power in the world, which is uh, USA. 